Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video series, what we're going to be doing is setting up Windows Server 2019. We're going to be going through setting up Active Directory, setting up DNS, uh, RODCs, which is read-only domain controllers, and a whole bunch of different stuff. So if you're ready for the series, let's get into it. This is video one. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back. So in this series, what we're going to be doing is setting up Windows Server 2019. And here is the, this is video one. So if you see on my screen here, um, Windows Server 2019's training videos. And this is video one. And this is going to be how to install Windows Server 2019, the GUI, the GUI, the graphical user interface, okay? And there's three different kind of editions of 2019 server, right? So there's a data center, which is, you know, that's more for data centers, cloud environments, highly uh, virtualized environments, just like it says. Um, standard is probably what you're gonna be seeing in most, most of your environments. Um, this is a physical box, like if you have your physical server running 2019 standard, or, uh, you know, minimally um, virtual environments, right? Like you have, Two, two virtual machines in your hypervisor, which is Hyper-V in, uh, in Microsoft. And there's Essentials. Essentials is small businesses with up to 25 users and 50 devices, just like it says, all right? So the next slide, this is um, the minimum requirements to install Server 19, uh, 2019. Your processor is 1.4 gigahertz with a 64-bit processor. The RAM, the minimum is 512 megabytes. The disk space is 32 gigabytes, all right? And just like I said, like um, Windows Server 2019 will be available in Data Center Standard Essentials Editions, and there's GUI and core versions, all right? So essentially, this is gonna be my setup. My first virtual machine that we're gonna be deploying together will be 2019 data center. I'm going to install data center and it's going to be a domain controller and it's going to have full virtual uh, CPUs. I want to allocate eight gigabytes of RAM, 60 gigabyte hard drive and my computer, my physical host is Windows 10 Pro with a CPU AMD. It's a, uh, the Threadripper and 1920X 12 cores with 24 CPUs, 3.5 gigahertz. And in my physical host, I have 128 gigs of RAM and I have a two terabyte SSD. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and minimize this and get started. All right, so this is my desktop. We're going to be using, um, we're going to be using VMware Workstation for this course. So I'm going to be setting up my virtual machines in VMware Workstation. All right, so this is going to be our prime, uh, our first virtual machine deployment. So we're gonna go ahead and hit file. If you guys are using virtual um, uh, VMware, I would highly recommend it so you can follow along. I'm running VMware 5.5.1. Up to this video, I think that's the latest version. I haven't been prompted to update it, so I think that's my latest version. And as you see here, my, my, I have Windows 10. I have 128 gigs of RAM. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Start. And I'm gonna to go to file, new virtual machine. Typical is fine. And I wanna do install the operating system later. Uh, Windows Server 2016, it should be fine, but there is no 2019 version at this time. So I wanna do 2016 because that is the latest version prior to that. And I wanna name this Win. Wait, uh, I just wanna make sure before I do that, it's yeah, win 2K19, win 2K19 dash DC01. You know what? I'm going to do this. Win, whoa, sorry about that. Win, what the hell is going on? Let me just do this. Hold on. Win 2K19 dash DC01. All right, so I wanna actually browse here, okay? So I wanna actually copy this, 
browse and I'm going to go to this PC and I'm going to go to my PDG data <clears throat> and I made a I made a YouTube course VMs I want to put the virtual machines in here okay all right so I'll do this that and we should be good okay let's go to next I want to allocate a 60 gig hard drive like I said I want to have it uh, stored into uh, I'll just do split that doesn't really matter um, I'm going to change some settings here I'm going to make this 8 gigs I want to make it 4 CPUs and I want to enable virtualization and everything else should be good I want to take out the printer just to um, delete some resources I don't need that and as far as I'm not going to use NAT, I'm going to actually use bridged. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this and finished. Okay, it's going to deploy. Let's up, put it into the folder that we we uh, we made. And last thing we do is auto detect for CD-ROM. We're going to have to upload the ISO of 2019. So I want to go ahead and use ISO image file. And I want to browse. I have the downloads. This is the download for 2019 evaluation. I'm going to hit OK. OK. And I want to start the VM. OK. And now this should say boot from any CD. Hit enter. And now this is going to go on its merry way of installing the operating system. So we're going to have to do some, we're going to have to do a few things here in order for the operating system to go through its installation. All right, so we'll let that do its thing. So the first thing is first, this is the Windows setup. Wherever you are in the world, I'm obviously in the US and I speak English, so I'm gonna leave it as a default. Hit next, I wanna hit install now. Sorry about that. Turn it on mute. And um, once this comes up, we'll get some other prompts <clears throat> to install. So we have standard, remember what I was saying in the beginning of the video, there's three, there's standard data center and essentials. Essentials you have to download separately. So these two are in the same um, image. So as you see here, you have Windows Server 2019 evaluation, desktop experience. Desktop experience is the one that we're gonna be utilizing in this video because the desktop experience is included the GUI, the graphical user interface. All right, let's hit next. And then it's going to say you want to, you know, agree to the license terms. I agree. Next. And I want to do custom install Windows Advance. And I'm just going to hit next. This is the 60 gig drive that we um, created during the install of the VMware. Okay. Hit next. And this is going to go ahead and install win um, the Windows operating system. At this very moment, I'll wait till it uh, proceeds to at least a couple percent. Then I'll pause the video and resume once it's done so we don't have to watch water boil. All right, so this is going to go through and uh, we'll be resuming shortly. Thank you. All right, guys, so this is where it came up. It, the installation was complete. So we're going to have to put in a administrator password. So I want to go ahead and put my administrator password in here. Okay. So let's hit finish here. I know finalize this, uh, the, the installation. Now we can go ahead and hit control delete. There's control delete right up here, right this little guy. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our fancy fancy password. All right. Once everything's in, I'm gonna do some tweaks. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to make some changes to the operating system just so we should be good. All right. So let's go ahead and X out of here. First thing we can do is go on a local server. You know, probably want to get into the next video. We can change the computer name. I don't want to make these videos too, too long. But um, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and for example, enhance, no, you know what? I'll leave that configuration for the next video. This is a basic install. 
I'll change the date and time because I'm on Eastern time. Eastern and Eastern. So that should be fine here. And the next thing I'm gonna do really quick is let's see what IP address I pulled because I did put bridge. So let's see if, I'm sure that we're on the internet, but uh, let's go, chop chop. All right, let's do this. You probably can't see it because, oh yeah, you can right now because my big head's not in the way. But um, if we go here, if we open up the, the network and sharing, uh, network and sharing center, or open network and internet settings, we just go to change adapter options. We can see our NIC here. I like to view it in detail. I'm just weird. So here is going to be our NIC. We go ahead and go to properties. Actually, let's go to status. Details. Okay, perfect. So we're on my local network. So it is bridge. This is my gateway to my router. Perfect. 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 And we're going to have to add a, you know, we're going to make a scope. I'm going to have to look at my router and that's, it's going to be uh, long in the next video and what we're going to be using for our, um, for our IP scope. All right. But I'll be writing that up in the next video. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the, the, let me make this smaller and I want to right click here and we're going to install the VMware tools. So you see here now, um, everything looks very small. If we make it big, it doesn't, expand so what we're going to do is install the vmware tools i guess it didn't really populate so maybe we're going to have to go to my computer actually let's make this big so we don't so we can go to this computer and it should mount the iso here there we go so let's double click on here and it should go ahead and install and then we'll reboot and then we'll um wrap up the video for number one all right and then the next video, we'll set up domain controllers, we'll add DNS, and then we'll add a secondary domain controller, then we'll add some uh, RODCs. And we'll, you know, I have a few little things that, you know, we'll, we'll go through some stuff to get you up and running and understanding some uh, Windows Server 2019 um, topics. Let's give this a moment. And once this is done, it'll probably ask to reboot. And once it reboots, you can see that it'll be everything will be bigger all right we'll just do typical that should be fine install this will take a you know a few minutes as you can see here it is april 13th and it's almost 10 20 at night so i enjoy doing my videos at night and we'll give this a second you see how it's flashing bada bing everything came big now you can see my big head over there now you can't see anything so finish and then we'll reboot and once it reboots, I'll make this smaller. Once it reboots, we should be able to log in and everything obviously is gonna be bigger. And that should be, that should be up. So we'll give that a second, let it reboot. Reboot, reboot, reboot. And I really enjoy every, you know, if you like these videos, like please share them, subscribe comment below if you have any questions or or inquiries of any kind of videos that you would like to see you know the next couple of videos the next couple of weeks i'm going to be working on this course strictly like writing some stuff putting powerpoints together try to make it as as fun and easy as possible it should be fun so we do control delete and then we log in with our fancy fancy password and we should be good there we go. Now we have our first Windows Server 2019 up. The next video will, you know what, what we'll do really quick. I'll, I'll change the computer name so I don't forget. And then the next video will uh, do a little more configuration. So the way we change our name, we do a local server. We click on computer name here, go to change, and we're gonna make this W I W I N two K nineteen dash D C zero one because this is gonna be our first domain controller in our environment. Okay? And once this is done, okay, okay, reboot. 
and that should be it. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to stop here for now. And once everything is up and running, you know, the next video, we're going to add a domain controller. We'll add DNS. We'll add some, some, some cool stuff and I'll add on to this, um, to this, uh, PowerPoint so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to save this, this whole PowerPoint, and maybe I'll upload it somewhere if you want it. Um, I can definitely share it and we'll go from there. So again, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and hit me up on my social media if you have any questions. And until next time, have a good night and have a good day wherever you are and enjoy the video. Thank you.